This is Jay-Z's video for the story of OJ. The first time you see it, the animation is pretty disturbing. Light nigga, dark nigga, faux nigga, real nigga, rich nigga, po nigga, house nigga, feel nigga. The video is satirizing racist images that have permeated popular cartoons. The characters look like blackface minstrels for a reason. Minstrel shows fundamentally shape the history and language of animation. She rubbed and rubbed the knuckle, brought them down to the nub, yeah. From the white gloves, to the huge eyes and mouths, to the violent explosions, our cartoons are chock full of imagery rooted in racist minstrelsy. Live minstrel shows began in early 19th century America. Don't you forget those old end men there! Oh, those comical end men! <laughs> White people in blackface makeup pretended to be caricatures of black slaves and freedmen. How would you like to go to work for me? Yes, ma'am! How much you gonna pay me, I hope? By the 1840s, the minstrel show had become America's most popular art form and lasted into the early 20th century through the early years of animation. Amen, brother! Minstrel shows provided animators with stock characters and themes that would have been very familiar to their audiences. Because of this, many early cartoon characters weren't just like minstrels. They were minstrels, with black bodies and faces with big white lips and eyes. And they aped the classic minstrel show, with big opening musical numbers and slapstick send-ups of well-known plays and stories. By the 1930s, live minstrel shows were on their way out, and their expression in cartoons became more self-conscious. Mickey Mouse had to literally black up to perform a minstrel send-up of Uncle Tom's Cabin. Long after the classic minstrel show faded from view, its vestiges remained in animation, even today. Take, for example, the white gloves worn by so many cartoon characters. That was an essential part of the minstrel costume, likely taken from the formal wear of slaves. And now, Nintendo portrays the white glove as a god of the cartoon universe, the ironically named Master Hand. And that recurring cartoon explosion where the faces are charred was a direct reference to blackface makeup. Also, that's a bar of Swanee River playing in the background, a traditional minstrel song. Underlying this explosion gag is another, more profound dynamic with roots in minstrelsy. Repetitive, brutal violence with no consequences. The historical American setting for such violence had been plantations, where masters saw no consequences to mercilessly beating and torturing slaves. This violence became a stylized part of minstrel show slapstick, which made its way into vaudeville and animation, and carried forward through 20th century cartoons. I'm the coming, I'm the coming, Master Elmer. Tote that board, lift that bell, yaffa, yaffa. Which brings us back to Jay-Z and those cartoon figures in the story of OJ. The song and the animation remind us that no matter how far the depiction of black people has come, history is very much with us. Still, nigga. Still, nigga.